Hey guys, so today we're taking another look at the new Mopar performance parts, or what they call Direct Connection. There's a whole catalog of different parts available and we'll check it out today. Direct Connection is back now in 2022. It was a performance program that was first introduced in 1974 to help Dodge owners get more performance out of their classic muscle cars. In 1987 it was renamed to Mopar Performance Parts, but now Direct Connection is back again exclusively at Dodge Power Broker Dealers. Direct Connection offers a full line of factory tuned and developed performance parts and kits that won't violate the warranty. So we'll be going over what's available for each model and seeing what's offered, including the Charger, Challenger, Durango, Chrysler 300, and more. So let's get started. We'll start with the Dodge Challenger non-Hellcats, as this model has the most parts offered. First off, let's start with some visual stuff. Dodge has continuously improved on the look of the Challenger, so for all 2015 and up models, you can now get the dual snorkel Hellcat hood for $1,495, and that was introduced on the 2019 Challenger Hellcats. It's also functional, with an 18% greater airflow rate than the 2018 SRT Hellcat hood, with over 1100 CFM of air, and an intake temperature reduction of 4 degrees Fahrenheit. There's the entire SRT Hellcat front fascia kit that costs $19.95, and Dodge says it gives you improved engine cooling and increased downforce. If you missed out on a wide body, you can get that kit for $24.95, which gives you the wider fender flares and the more aggressive look. Dodge is also now offering 20 by 9 inch wheels for $675 that are available on any rear wheel drive Challenger from 2008 and up. Those used to be OEM scat pack wheels. Next is the cold air intake. These are bolt-ons and Dodge claims they are designed to allow cooler outside air through a directional cone filter and then funnel directly into the intake manifold. The horsepower and torque gains vary, but you can usually expect a 5 to 15 horsepower increase. There are many different versions, one for the 08 to 10 6.1 liter Hemi for 425, 08 to 10 5.7 liter Hemi for 375, 11 to 18 5.7 Hemi for $502, and 11 to 18 6.4 liter Hemis for $462. There's also different versions to accommodate your car if you have the TA hood or shaker hood. V6 models also get a choice. The 2009 to 2010 3.5 liter V6 cold air intake costs $420, while the 2011 to 2018 3.6 liter Pentastar V6 version is $514. Continuing with the intake on 2015 and up models with the 5.7 liter or 6.4 liter Hemis, there's an SRT Hellcat airbox and air catcher intake kit for $195 that gives you improved airflow and reduced air charge temps to the engine. Once that's installed, then you can make full use of the illuminated air catcher kit, which is a $1,675 kit that integrates another air intake right through the headlights. Dodge first tested this on the 2009 Challenger 1320 concept, and then they said, why not try this on a production car? So on certain models, there's a 2.6 inch passage that goes through the sealed driver inner headlamp to funnel more air. Dodge says that without it, the SRT Hellcat would lose about seven horsepower. So now you can add it to your 2015 to 2017 V8 models. And there's also a separate $60 tube that connects the headlamp passage to the cold air intake. Next up would be the exhaust. Mopar already offers exhaust systems for the current Challengers, and now they're adding capback exhaust for the 2013 to 14 and 2015 to 16 Challengers with the 5.7 Hemi for roughly $1,300. Continuing with performance, Red Eye 41 spline half shafts are a $1,495 option on the 2015 and up 5.7, 6.4, and 6.2 models that have the 230 millimeter rear differential. These are high strength with 41 spline bar shafts and 8 ball CV joints proven to handle up to 770 pound feet of torque. They're also standard equipment on the Scat Pack Widebody, 1320, Hellcat Red Eye, and SRT Demon. There's a Red Eye Differential Assembly for $19.95, which upgrades from a 2.62 to 1 ratio to 3.09 to 1. It can be used on any 2015 and up Challenger V8, as long as you have the automatic transmission and the half shaft upgrade as well. Dodge now offers a brake upgrade assuming you don't have Brembos, so for all 2015 and up models with the BR5 brakes, so that's dual front piston calipers, meaning RT and below models, there is a $568 package that adds slotted rotors and grippy pads that can be used with your OEM calipers. Now we can move on to the suspension where there are quite a few upgrades. The first would be $695 zero camber rear knuckles 
that are available on all 2008 and up V8 models. These are specifically designed for reduced camber gain, increasing the rear tire contact patch for improved traction during launches. Also on all 2008 and up V8 models, under the hood you can install a strut tower brace for $525. These are made of heavy duty steel and will enhance structural rigidity, steering response, directional stability, and vehicle handling, but it's not compatible with the Shaker hood or Hellcat engines. The Shaker does get its own version for $425. To clean things up, Mopar does offer shock tower caps for $165 that simply screw on for the visual appeal. For 2011 and up models, V6 or V8, there's a $525 strut tower rear brace, again that's meant to enhance stability and handling, and that will get installed in the trunk. Underneath the car, anti-sway bars are offered at a cost of $525 for all 2008 and up 5.7 or 6.1 liter Hemi models with a 31.75 millimeter front bar and a 19.05 millimeter rear bar. The last suspension piece is the Super Track Pack Stage 2 kit for $629. This kit contains springs, shocks, shock isolators, and jounce bumpers. Depending on the vehicle configuration, this package can provide up to a 0.5 inch drop and it can be added to any 3.6 liter or 5.7 liter vehicle that does not already have the Super Track Pack. Inside the Challenger there are some shifter upgrades for the 2008 to 2014 vehicles with the manual transmission. So there's a full shifter with a Mopar embossed billet aluminum knob for $153 or there's an $80 knob only. The very last Challenger offering is an $88 blow-off valve conversion kit for the 2009 and 2010 Challengers that have the 3.5 liter V6s, assuming you have turbocharged that engine, which I think many would not have. With the Challenger covered, let's move on to the Charger. Going forward here, there will be some repetition as lots of parts are shared with the Challenger, but there's also some new stuff too. We won't cover the repeats in details as they're the same part at the same price. The Charger unfortunately has no visual upgrades like the Challenger did, no wide body package, and no hood is offered. It does have the colder intakes for all models. The first gen 2006 to 2010 has one for each of the 3.5 liter V6, 5.7 liter V8, and 6.1 liter V8, all for between $375 to $425. 2011 to 2018 offers one for the 3.6 liter Pentastar, 5.7 liter Hemi, and 6.4 liter Hemi at a more expensive 462 to $514 cost. The suspension upgrades are similar with the front and rear strut tower braces and shock tower caps, but these can be added to any year of the Charger from 2006 and up. There's also the Super Track Pack 2 suspension, but a Stage 1 lowering kit is offered here as well. So for $327, these are springs that lower the ride height by 1 inch, not compatible with adaptive suspension or Nevimat shocks. Another new piece is a $98 dual gauge pod that can be added to your A-pillar on 06 to 08 models only. And other upgrades that we've already covered include the slotted rotors with pads, zero camber rear knuckles, and those 20 by 9 inch wheels. Now we can cover the Charger and Challenger Hellcat upgrades. First off, as I covered in an earlier video this year, there are direct connection stage kits that add tons of horsepower. It looks like these will be available for all 2015 and up models from the Scat Pack and up soon, but many of these kits are still in the works and not yet released. The only kits that just released are those for the 2019 to 2022 SRT Hellcat Red Eye and SRT Hellcat Superstock Challenger only right now. So this includes the pre-stage kit, stage one and stage two for a total cost of $2,785 and that adds 88 horsepower with all three. A stage three kit is also being developed. There's also the regular Hellcat kits that will be out in April that add about 40 horsepower and 40 pound-feet of torque. Otherwise, there's lots of additions for the 2015 and up Hellcats, Charger or Challenger. There's the Red Eye Torque Converter that's $1,235 on 2015 and up Hellcat models with the 8 HP90 automatic transmission. This converter not only allows a higher stall speed than the stock Hellcat Torque Converter, it also provides more torque multiplication for harder launches. The Red Eye drive shaft is $1,695, 20% stronger than a standard Hellcat drive shaft. There's a full Red Eye drive line kit with the half shafts, the 3.09 to 1 differential assembly we already went over, and the drive shaft for $5,000 for the automatic Hellcats. You can upgrade the cylinder heads for $2,595, 
that feature 2.14 inch intake valves and 1.65 inch exhaust valves while increasing the red line to 6,500 RPMs. There's a $3,195 red eye piston and rod kit upgrade for increased bottom end strength and durability. And finally, there's a $565 red eye high flow airbox. Now we can move on to the other models. The 300 gets plenty of upgrades as well. There's cold air intakes for most of the models, like the 3.5 liter and 3.6 liter V6s, 5.7 liter and 6.1 liter V8, and 6.4 liter V8. Other mods that carry over here would be the zero camber rear knuckles, front and rear strut tower braces, the shock tower caps, one inch lowering springs, and the super track pack stage two suspension kit. The slotted rotors and pads can be had here, along with that $98 dual gauge pod for 2005 to 2008 models. So overall on the 300, there's nothing we haven't covered yet, but all decent upgrades for those that own this car and want to add a few things to it. Speaking of LX models, there are just a few options for the Dodge Magnum. First, there's a $420 cold air intake for the 3.5 liter V6s and a 425 cold air intake for the 6.1 liter V8. I didn't see a 5.7 option, but the Charger version should be compatible. The Magnum also offers a dual gauge pod for $98 and the front strut tower brace for V8 models for $375. Now we can move on to another popular Dodge model, the Durango. Unfortunately, there are only two upgrades to be had here, a $1,595 capback exhaust and a $447 cold air intake, both for the current 5.7 liter Hemi and 3.6 liter V6 models. So that's pretty much all for the Durango. It's also worth noting here that for all 2009 and up Eagle Hemis, there's a performance camshaft with a slightly modified cam timing that will increase the low end torque without sacrificing the high end power, thanks to an optimized variable camshaft timing calibration. That will cost $1,060. Now we can move on to the models you might not have expected would have performance parts. The Dodge Dart has a couple of things. 2013 to 2016 1.4 liter models have a $403 cold air intake, while the 2.4 liter engines have a $343 cold air intake. There's also a Dart big brake kit for the front, with 13 inch slotted rotors, high friction pads, front brake lines, and four piston black calipers that have a white Mopar logo on them. That comes at a cost of $1,895, and it requires that you run 18 inch wheels or bigger. Next is the 2003-2005 Dodge Neon SRT4. Direct Connection is offering a cold air intake for $375, front and rear strut tower braces for $189, $264 suspension springs that will drop the car by one inch, and adjustable rear control arms that are $133 each. Those control arms are actually for any Neon model, not just the SRT4. Alongside that Neon SRT, the 2003-2009 PT Cruiser Turbo, and 2008-09 Dodge Caliber SRT4 all offer the $88 blow-off valve conversion kit, and that's meant to relieve excess turbo pressure that results from shutting the throttle rapidly under boost conditions. As for another couple of odd offerings, there's a cold air intake offered for the 2007-2009 Dodge Nitro with the 3.7 liter V6, as well as the 2011-2014 Dodge Avenger and Chrysler 200 with the 3.6 liter V6. So that's all for this video guys, hopefully you enjoyed going over all the performance parts available for each of the models. Let me know what you think of these direct connection parts. Do you think they're a good deal? Are you interested in getting any of these for your car? Or do you think they're overpriced? Let me know down in the comment section below. As always, thanks for watching, make sure to like subscribe for all your Mopar content, and I'll see you guys in the next video.